Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Shadows fall, but hope prevailing calms every fear. Loving Father, none forsaking, take our hearts of love's own making. Watch our sleeping, guard our waking, be always near. Dark descends, but light unending shines through our night. You are with us, ever lending new strength to sight. One in love, your truth confessing, one in hope of heaven's blessing, May we see in love's possessing love's endless light. Eyes will close, but you, unsleeping, watch by our side. Death may come in love's safe keeping, still we abide. God of love, all evil quelling, sin forgiving, fear dispelling, stay with us, our hearts indwelling, this eventide. You cannot serve both God and Mammon. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed all who dwell in the world, both men low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches for no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to god for his life the ransom of his soul is beyond him he cannot buy life without end nor avoid coming to the grave he knows that wise men and fool, fools m must both perish and leave their wealth to others their graves are, are their homes forever their dwelling place from age to age, though their name spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beast that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our mouths speak your wisdom, Lord Jesus, and help us to remember that you became man and redeemed us from death, that we might merit the beauty of your light. You cannot serve both God and Mammon. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither rust nor moth can destroy. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave. Their death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. But the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers who will never see the light any more. In his riches he lacks wisdom. He is like the beast that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You condemn the rich, Lord Jesus, because they have already received their reward. And you proclaim the poor blessed, because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Teach us to seek for imperishable goods, and to have confidence in your blood poured out as the price of our redemption. 
store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither rust nor moth can destroy. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and praise and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. A reading from Romans chapter 8. We know that God makes all things work together for the good of those who have been called according to his decree. Those whom he foreknew, he predestined to share the image of his Son, that the Son might be the firstborn of many brothers. Those he predestined, he likewise called, and those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he in turn glorified. Just is the Lord, in justice he delights. Just is the Lord, in justice he delights. He looks with favor on the upright man. In justice he delights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Just is the Lord, in justice he delights. You have left everything to follow me. You will have it all returned a hundredfold, and will inherit eternal life. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have left everything to follow me. You will have it all returned a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. Let us pray to the Father, the source of all holiness, and ask him to lead us to holiness of life through the example and intercession of his saints. May we be holy as you are holy. Holy Father, you want us to be called your sons and truly to be such. Grant that your holy church may proclaim you throughout the world. Holy Father, you want us to walk worthily and please you in all we do. Let us abound in doing good works. Holy Father, you have reconciled us to yourself through Christ. Preserve us in your name so that all may be one. Holy Father, you have called us to a heavenly banquet through the bread that came down from heaven. Make us worthy to grow in perfect love. Holy Father, forgive the offenses of every sinner. Let the dead perceive the light of your countenance. Now let us offer together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you called St. Anthony to renounce the world and serve you in the solitude of the desert. By his prayers and example, may we learn to deny ourselves and to love you above all things. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.